Shalom Yanni. Greetings from Oklahoma. Shalom. So if you could uh, please, first of all, take us back to the tornado itself, to the disaster. And when did you understand how serious, how significant it was? We didn't realize how serious it was until it was all over. Um, we knew there was a tornado on the ground, but in Oklahoma that could mean a tiny tornado or that could mean a two mile wide, destructive 200 mile an hour force, which this ended up being. So when it was all over, said and done, is when we realized how serious it was. And so uh, today, as uh, we're approaching the end of the week, what is the situation now on the field? They're not letting anyone in the city to ground zero. The, uh, the government has it pretty well blocked off. They're still searching for survivors. Um, so far, the death toll is at 91. Um, 20 or so are children from the elementary school that was hit. There's been 13,000 homes destroyed and 34,000 people affected. So what can you tell us about the uh, relief efforts in general and uh, the activity that you're taking part of what you're doing there as you come to the scene of the disaster? Um, I know the Red Cross is out there. They have been, um, every hospital in Oklahoma has put up tents. They're all doing everything they can. Uh, celebrities and basketball players are donating money. Um, personally, our relief efforts, um, we, uh, we work for an optometry office here in Oklahoma City and we have organized a uh, vision relief um, for the, all the victims affected by the Moore tornado. We will be in Moore next week as of Tuesday through Friday, the 28th through the 31st, and we are providing free eye care as free contacts, free glasses, and free eye trauma for everyone affected. Um, this started two days ago as an idea um, and now we have the support of countless people from across the world um, sending us supplies and money and everything we need to take care of our own. I mean, understand that you're still on alert. Uh, the sirens are blasting from time to time due to storms. What are you supposed to do when you hear a siren? Um, in Oklahoma, sirens are kind of a part of life. We, uh, we're used to storms. Uh, we're used to tornadoes. So when we hear a tornado siren, it's kind of like we've heard it a thousand times. There's one thing you need to know about the Oklahoma people, and I think you guys can understand this better than most, is that you can uh, smash our homes and, you know, destroy our cars, but you can never crush the Oklahoma spirit. Even down at ground zero, there may be a lot of people hurt and injured and a lot of people gone, but uh, it's all messages of hope and not despair. Now, are you already hearing uh, criticism about the warnings that the people should have been warned before, that places should have been evacuated? As far as getting people evacuated, um, there's really nothing you can do to run away from this. Um, tornadoes are still a very unspecific science. Um, at most, we have 30, 45 minutes warning. Taylor Oliphant, Oklahoma City, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure talking with all of you. Uh, greetings and shalom from Oklahoma. I wish you all the best and uh, thank you for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. Bye.